Hey, a short time ago we did a video about the Tiant 11 plate water ionizers and on the table with me I had the MMP 11. And I just talked about the UCE 11 which is the under counter model and I just said it was an attractive design. But then we got a few emails saying and a couple phone calls, well what does this thing actually look like? And I think people were worried that it was this plumbing monstrosity that might be under their sink. So I thought they'd do a quick video showing what the base unit looks like. I'll also walk through the head unit just very quickly. This unit right here is the processing part, the water processing part of the UCE11 under counter tiant water ionizer. This is the part that would go under your sink and the, the 9000T looks very similar which is the 9 plate version of this. Um, you're really never going to see this unless you look under your sink but it is an attractive design, uh, very modern, uh, has a plastic case. Uh, as opposed to the other one, the one that sits on top of your counter has a stainless steel front, but again, you're never going to see this. Operation of this bottom one, it has a button on the back for power. That's about it. <laughs> of course, you are going to have to take it out every once in a while, every 6 to 12 months, change out your filters. Uh, there are a couple attachments where you could hang it underneath your uh, sink if you had to, or if you wanted to, to kind of get it up. Uh, that might be recommended. Uh, you will need, of course, power underneath your sink. And uh, this here is the, uh, the attachment that goes up to the head unit. So, real quick, this is the base unit. Not too much to see here. It has a lot of technology inside of it. it has 11 ionization plates, uh, a whole bunch of power, that sort of thing that we went over in the other video. But, but basically, here, here it is. Certainly a, a nice looking unit. You can see how easy that can slip underneath your sink. This is the other part of the unit. This is the, uh, the head unit, which will stick above the sink. And what, one of the questions we get is, well, how do I put this thing above my sink? You know, I, you know, a lot of folks have uh, stainless steel sinks. Those are very easy. You can drill a hole through it yourself if you want. We have the, uh, the dimensions of that hole on our website if you, if you need it. It's also in the instruction manuals. Uh, and basically, this, this here would just sit, so you just see from here up. Um, you might have a granite countertop. A little bit trickier with the granite countertop, but certainly we have a lot of customers uh, who have granite where they, where they put this to as well. It does need to be within reach of the uh, within reach of the sink so that the wastewater stream can go off into the into the uh, sink. Uh, that's the water that isn't used during the ionization process. Um, it, you know, very attractive, very modern looking head unit. Uh, probably get some questions about it when people are visiting, especially when it's lit up because the display on it is, is very co very colorful. I mentioned in the other video, it looks a lot like an iPod or, a, or an iPhone. Very easy to use, to, to hit the buttons, to use all the presets, um, that sort of thing with the machine. So, if you have any questions about installation, you know, certainly let us know. Uh, but uh, uh, a plumber would have absolutely no problem putting this unit in. Most, there are a lot of uh, home users are able to put this in themselves. If you have a, a, uh, a hole in your, in your sink already, uh, for some sort of an accessory, for example, you might have like a soap dispenser that, that goes into your sink, uh, or you might have a, um, a different type of water filter. You know, if you have a hole there, chances are that this unit here is going to fit it, it is standard. Uh, then it would just slip right through, and then you're just connecting power up to the unit, and you are good to go. And of course, the, the plumbing to get fresh water into it, which is basically just a, a T connector running to the uh, under sink plumbing. So, like I said, a plumber has that, it would have absolutely no problem getting this thing going. It would, it would cost you a very minimal amount. Uh, and, and certainly a lot of home users, including myself, have been able to get through it enough where they could actually install one of these. Um, really not such a big deal. So here it is. Here's the base unit that everybody wanted to see. Uh, if you have any questions, please let us know. Make sure you click on those links in the description. They go to betterhealthinnovations.com where we actually sell these things but we have a lot more information about the units there as well. So, all right, everybody, have a great day.